I'm here with Lada Fries from Denmark who yep. and North Baltimore who won the 800 or the mile, excuse me, last yeah. night. <laughs> uh, talk about the swim a little. Um, pretty good time. Uh, yeah, uh, I haven't been doing so well uh, mm -hmm. in, in competition the last couple of months, so this was like a really nice <laughs> time for me, and I'm happy with it. Uh, hopefully, it'll shave a little bit more off before Europeans. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm happy with the race. Um, and then what, what else? You just ran the 200 free this morning. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. <laughs> it's a lot different than the 1500. Uh, but uh, I mean, I did better than I did in, in Mesa, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure which final I'm in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's a sprint for me, and it's kind of a, just a training uh, event, so it's kind of like practicing. Mm -hmm. and what, are you, what, what are your expectations for the 400 eight, uh, and the 800 this uh, weekend? I don't know. Hopefully the 800 will be great. I'm not so sure about the 400. It's a little bit, normally a little bit mm -hmm. short for me, and especially now when we're in like hard practice and not tapered at all. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll, I'll do a little better mm -hmm. <laughs> than I did before. Sure. And y you know, y you've been around a while. You've been winning medals uh, internationally for a while. But last summer, kind of a breakthrough with um, your, your best times, both events, mm -hmm. and breaking the world record in the 1500. Yeah. You know, even if. Um, even if you didn't win that race, no. um, <laughs> and and then and then you decide to make a big move in your in your training, come uh, come over to Baltimore. Talk about why the why the big decision at a time when your career was so successful. Uh, I mean, I moved to Nice uh, after London because I needed like a change in my in my daily training, and uh, I loved it there. And I was actually planning on retiring after uh, European short cross, which was in Denmark. Mm -hmm. But then I did so good in Barcelona that I wanted to continue and. I wanted to try and, and see if I can find a place where I actually felt uh, like I felt more I belonged. I love Nice and I love the group and, and I love Fabrice Pelon, but uh, I didn't feel, I couldn't see myself be there until Rio. Uh, so I wanted to, to try and make a change. And uh, after being in Baltimore for like two months just as a camp, uh, I decided that I wanted to stay there until Rio. And what's it been like swimming with? Probably people, you know, you're swimming with 200 free gold medalists, both of them that are generally, uh, you know, more, more sprinters than you are. What's that been like? Uh, I mean, I don't really, I, I do some practices with the, with the 200 freestyles, but I mean, we have a great group of, of distance girls and we do a lot of work together. Uh, so I have Big Man and Gillian Ryan and sometimes I have uh, mm -hmm. Sierra Ranchi uh, training with us. So they push me every time, uh, every day in practice and I love them. Sure. And um, I know you've probably gotten this question a lot, but with the, all the hype of the Phelps comeback, just what's that been like to be around? Um, I mean, sometimes I have to like pinch myself because like a year back, if, if Michael had even said hi to me, I would have been <laughs> like, oh my God, Michael Phelps said hi to me. Uh, but now it's more like, okay, Michael is part of the team and you see him every day. Uh, so you don't really think that it's Michael Phelps for us. It's more mm -hmm. like he's Michael. Sure. Um, looking forward to this summer, you got Europeans. Any particular goals for that meet or just go out and win, go uh, as fast as you can? Hopefully swim as fast as possible. I mean, I change training location again. Uh, so I always feel like I have to get used to, to a new coach and a new system. So we'll see how it goes, but hopefully it will be as, just as good as in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And then uh, are you going to be keeping an eye on the times that Katie Ledecky is doing over at uh, Pampax? Just a little competition. <laughs> but I mean, it's always so hard to compare because I never knew I like I like to race. So if mm -hmm. I'm next to Katie, I don't know what I actually would have been able to do compared to like really like, well, be swimming in two different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. <laughs> and what's it like, even though I, I know you guys don't train together by any means and you hardly see her at meets, but what's it been like having her, you know, so close to where you are now in Baltimore? Um, I mean, I don't really think about it. I mean, I see her sometimes at competition. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, it's more like... I don't care that she beats me here or at a competition mm. like I please like with 30 seconds because I know that it's on the day at the big competition at the big meets that matters mm -hmm. and that's where I have to be close to her or try and beat her. Right. And then the the end goal is 2016? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think that's going to be the last stop of my career. <laughs> right. Well, um, Loda, thanks so much for your time and uh, good luck tonight in the 200 Thank and uh, tomorrow in the 400 and then the 800. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>